Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry today's video is up so late. I was just trying to figure out what about yesterday I wanted to make a video about. So yesterday on Winter is Coming, when Chris Jericho gave the inner circle an ultimatum, it got me thinking. You got seven days to really think about this. And next week on Dynamite, we're gonna have an ultimatum. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna decide. Either we work together as a team, every one of us, where the inner circle breaks up forever. What would happen if they all broke up? Personally, I think this is why MJF got into the inner circle in the first place, just to break them up. He knows that there's strength in numbers, and he knows that with them all together, there's no way he's gonna beat them all. So if he breaks them up, he gets them alone, and then it's fair game. Actually, I think I'm gonna make another video talking about what I think is gonna happen to each one of them if they break up. But for right now, let's talk about the inevitable breakup between MJF and Wardlow. If we go back and look at Wardlow before MJF, he had big plans for his future at AEW. What do you say Wardlow takes over all elite wrestling? But since he's been here, he's been being held down by the bodyguard and glorified personal assistant position that MJF has him in. MJF often says how lucky Wardlow is to be under his wing. Right? But I'm, I'm helping him. I'm mentoring this kid. Because at the end of the day, he might be older than me, but he's, he's still learning on the job. But how long will Wardlow put up with this? In an interview, MJF was asked about Wardlow and said, His job is to carry my bags, take my ring off or put it on my pinky, and beat people up that I tell him to beat up. And that's probably going to be his job the rest of his career until I feel I'm totally ready to let him loose. He talks about Wardlow's talents but plans to keep him as his bodyguard for as long as he wants. While MJF is planning on keeping Wardlow down for as long as he can, Wardlow wants the fame and fortune of being a top guy. To win and to make a lot of money. As we've seen, Wardlow had big plans coming to AEW. Wardlow may still be early in his career, but he easily could and should be one of the top guys in the next few years, as long as he works on his mic skills and continues to improve. And he believes this too. Yeah, no, my only goal, my only plan in life was always to be a professional wrestler. You better believe that one day I will hold the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. Do you think that the breakup of the inner circle is what it'll take for him to break out of his partnership and venture into the singles division? And maybe even pick up where he left off in his feud with Brian Cage? The bottom line is, Brian Cage can't run forever. After all, MJF treats him like Sir. Oh, now I'm sir. Was I'm sir when you cost me my world championship? To throw this ring about as efficiently as you can read a book, you illiterate oaf! And is quick to put the blame on Wardlow the second he gets the opportunity. Fox, check his hand! Can oh, you do anything right? Oh, 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 he got it! Kicked him in the back! The, the ring hit this war. This ring and tire is pink, but who cares? Fight the best and as time goes on, it looks like Wardlow is fighting harder and harder to bite his tongue. <laughs> I'm sorry, do we have a problem? Because the last time I checked, War Dog, Tony Khan doesn't sign off on your checks. I do. Oh boy, oh. and there was just incidental contact. He did that on purpose. He's not fooling me. Uh, MJF thinks it's, it's come down to... What do you guys think? Do you think Wardlow will take this opportunity to leave? Maybe even with Jake Hager? Could you imagine that tag team? Now, this is total fan speculation, but could you imagine seeing Wardlow and Hager versus Brian Cage and Will Hobbs? AEW is still in its infancy and is still trying to find a format to get all of these guys TV time. I'm sure that they'll figure it out and I really hope to see Jake Hager and Wardlow come together against Brian Cage and Will Hobbs. I think that would be so cool. What do you guys think? Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out more than you know, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I will never forget the first Wardlow chant. And as fun as it is being a bad guy, there is no feeling like walking out here and hearing you guys scream my name. It gives me goosebumps. Thank <laughs> you.
and I don't really have much of a social life. I don't really have friends. You know, I'm just all day, every day is about getting better and getting where I want to be.